in those eyes. How do I put it? They've a strong sense of duty. Like whatever you start, you'll always see through, no matter what. If you'll permit me, there's something I'd very much like to show you. But first, I just need to hear it from you. Say that you'll stay till the very end. With that done, let's get you on your way. The crystal's glow wanes by the hour. Its fading light augurs a greater darkness. Something must be done. Leave all to me. I am Agnès Oblige. Servant and vestal to the crystal of wind. The crystal's light is mother to all creation, to all life. Purified by the vestal's rites, their incandescence wards the world from disaster. And so I pray, now as ever before, and onward till the years take me. A fine sea breeze, foretelling its death is a hoax in poor taste. I'm Ringabel, or so they call me. I've no humor in these sages. A bit cruel, eh? <laughs> Still, humor's welcome when you haven't a clue to your past. None save this book. But its pages hold no history, only the future. And more importantly, a woman. We've yet to meet, and I'm in love. My angel of fate. Could she be... Nearby? Master Kami Izumi, please do me this honor. One final test of skill. My name is Adia Lee, daughter of the Templar. I take pride in that fact, in my blood. Yet, my father... You've a long road ahead. Make for Kaldisla. The Vestal of Wind has been sighted there. <laughs> for your father, and for your country, you must apprehend her at all cost. Adia, wear this at your side. This is your finest blade, Issei no Kami. I pray it keeps you safe. Father, I swear that I'll return to you a proven warrior. I'm Tiz Orion. Watch you don't fall! And that's my brother Till. We're shepherds in the sleepy village of Narende. This is how things had always been, and how they'd be forever after. That's what I thought. Give me your other 
hand! Let me go! We'll both fall at this rate! I'm not losing you ever! Now hurry and give me your hand! <laughs> Finally awake, are you? You've been out a full week. I serve as captain of the Caldislan Guard. My name is Owen. Can you tell me yours? Tis. You were found unconscious in the ravine near Narende. I take it that was your home? Narende? I must ask you to stay calm. Your village is gone. A great chasm opened in the earth and... All of Narende was swallowed up in darkness. You were spared, but the others... Pray, do not think on it now. You need your rest. There will be time for mourning later. Little fellow's back with us, then? Aye, and all alone in the world. And past that solitude, what? Guilt at surviving? Pitiable lad. The king will be expecting my report. Keep watch on him a while, father. Ah, the Narende boy. Tis, was it? Owen spoke of you. I offer my deepest regrets for your loss. I cannot ease your pain, but time may. Stay and rest all you need. Your Highness is so very kind. Um, but my plan is to leave for the village straight away. Admirable lad, but danger hounds the road to Narende. That gaping maw has drawn beasts of all stripe to it. It's overrun with monsters. There may be survivors. All the more reason I must go. Someone out there may be waiting for help. Very well, though it shames me to send you off alone. I'd lend a portion of my guard, 
But these cursed knights of the Eternian sky are riddling my kingdom with cannonballs. I'll manage on my own. Thank you, Your Highness. Do be careful, child, and know that you've a place here when you return. Thank you. 